Hi everyone, my name is Scott, and in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to automatically show a linked date picker in your Gravity form. This is perfect for any form that has a start date and an end date. A perfect example is a hotel where a customer needs to provide their check-in date and their checkout date, and that's the exact example we're gonna use when going through this tutorial. All right, the first thing we'll wanna do is add two date fields to our Gravity form. Here are my two date fields, I've called them check in and check out going off of the hotel example that we used earlier. Starting with the first date field, we'll hover over and click settings, and on the right we'll click the perks drop down, and then under maximum date we want to select our checkout date field. Then we do the exact same thing for our checkout date field, we click the settings, we go over to perks, and this time we do the minimum date, we click and we set our check in time. Essentially what that does is it allows our customer to not choose a check-in date that exceeds the checkout date and vice versa. Next, we're gonna add a couple of lines of code using the Gravity Forms Code Chest plugin that will allow us to show and automatically populate the new minimum date into our second date picker. And check the link in the description of this video to find the code that we're about to add. Up here in settings, we'll just click Code Chest. And then right here, we're gonna paste in the code that we just copied. Okay, now it's time to see all the things that we've done put into action. So if I click the start date, and let's just say I choose March 15th, automatically you see that the second date field has popped up, and we can already see that we are unable to choose any date that is before our check-in date. So if I go ahead and choose the 22nd, and I go back to the start date, you'll see that we're no longer able to choose any dates after our end date. And that's all there is to it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you found it helpful. Stay tuned for more videos in the future where we'll go over more ways to perfect your Gravity Forms date picker. See you then.